In this video, I'll be covering what you need to know if you plan on buying in a seller's market. Hi, I'm Jimmy Brockett with Oakland Realty and welcome to the Inside Track, where I bring you the answers to the questions you didn't even know you had about real estate. If this is your first time here, please hit subscribe, switch on the little bell so you get notifications of these videos each time I produce them. Okay, so you found yourself buying in a seller's market. What does that mean? What do you need to know? Well, I'm going to cover those few things in this video today, so keep on watching. Okay, let's get going with probably the biggest one. A pre-approval is a must. The cost of not getting pre-approved for a mortgage in a seller's market can't be understated. In many markets across the country, it will often keep your bid from being accepted. Though it might sound surprising, it's true that the first thing you should do when trying to buy a new home in a seller's market is applying for a new mortgage pre-approval. The whole process can be done in less than a few hours, so don't let it intimidate you and stop you from making it happen. Sales can happen very quickly in a hot seller's market, so you need to come prepared. As a side tip, present a pre-approval with your offer from a reputable lender and it will make your offer look even stronger than anybody that doesn't have a pre-approval. Okay, the next one, make strong offers only. I always recommend getting very close to your best offer, if not your best, depending on how hot the market is in the area that you're looking at. If there's increased demand for homes in a seller's market, which means prices will likely be driven higher. Don't waste your time low with lowball offers that aren't likely to be accepted. What you need to do is work with your realtor to determine what home sales are looking like in the area. If comparable homes are selling well over list price, than what, than what you're looking at, you might consider submitting an initial offer that is above the asking price. Okay, next one, prepare for competition in a potential bidding war. One of the consequences of a hot seller's market is that sellers will typically receive multiple offers, giving them the negotiating power. You should prepare to counter if you fall in love with a property, so you need to know your limits so you don't over leverage yourself. When looking for a home in a seller's market, it's a good idea to search for homes that are listed just below your maximum budget, which then gives you the room to negotiate and add more to your offer. Okay, personal letters to the sellers. These never hurt, and it could stand you apart from the rest of the crowd when in a multiple offer scenario. If what you write suddenly clicks with the seller, it might put you in front, despite not even having the highest priced offer. So I always recommend doing this, it never goes wasted. Work with a trusted realtor. There are dozens of reasons to work with an experienced realtor. So if you haven't already, be sure to start evaluating realtors right now. It may take a bit of time to find a match for you, but you're much more likely to find the home of your dreams with a good realtor by your side than without one. I know purchasing a home in a seller's market can be daunting, to say the least. At times it can feel like the market is stacked against you, but remember, it only takes one solid offer to land your dream home. And if you follow the tips in this video, you'll be on your way to buying in a hot market when inventory is at a premium. So there you have it, what you need to know when you're buying in a seller's market. If today's video led to more questions or you're looking for a great realtor, I'd love the opportunity to chat with you about how I can help you reach your real estate goals. So please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always up for a chat and a coffee. As always, I'm loving all the comments, questions, feedbacks. If you've got something, post it in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.